Hello folks, Alfie here once again at Vente Pain Relief Clinic with my friend Skelly. Say hello, Skelly. Hello, Skelly. Okay, enough of that. Um, today, we're going to talk about lower back pain and a muscular reason for this lower back pain. Um, you might be suffering from chronic lower back pain. You might have uh, had uh, chronic issues with your lower back. And this might explain a few things in regards to why it's chronic or why it became chronic. So as you can see here, we have Skelly and he's all taped up. You see this muscle here at the front that's all taped up. This is your iliopsoas muscle. It's the most powerful hip flexor in the body. And uh, basically it attaches to the front part of your uh, lumbar segments, your lumbar vertebrae goes into the pelvis and basically attaches to the inside of your thigh, inside of your thigh bone. And what it does is it basically does this, right? So just imagine you're sitting down for prolonged periods. This muscle becomes very, very shortened. Eight to 10 hours a day of sitting can cause this to become very, very tight. So basically what you're getting is you're getting a pull. It's pulling all the structures forward and down. You can see the arrows here. Uh, these arrows indicate, if you can see them, that this muscle is shortened. Okay, so we're going to turn Skelly around and we're going to talk about a muscle called, or a group of muscles called the erectors. You can see here, uh, this, uh, this group of muscles basically, they run from your sacrum down here and runs up uh, basically right, um, um, you know, right where your spine is on the, out, on the side of your spine. And goes all the way to the base of the skull okay and the function of these muscles is to keep you upright okay so knowing that you have these muscles at the front your iliopsoas pulling things forward okay so you have this being shortened and it's pulling things forward the back side your erector muscles here are trying to keep you upright so there's this tug of war I'm just gonna put Skelly's hand up here a second Hopefully it stays up and doesn't uh, drop. Um, but basically what happens is you get um, a tug of war where this is going this way and the erector muscles are trying to keep you upright, pulling this direction here. Okay? But the thing though is that the erector muscles um, become very fatigued and uh, very tired from the overwork. Because you got to think, it's fighting against a muscle that's shortened for 8 to 10 hours a day if you're sitting in front of the computer. What happens is the person is symptomatic in the lower back, they go and get therapy done, and um, they work on the lower back, they work on the symptomatic area. But the issue with that is that it's not actually uh, accessing the root, the root cause. So you, you gotta think, like, yeah, the person's got lower back pain, but if they're sitting down for eight to 10 hours a day for you know a number of days, over weeks, over a year, this becomes more problematic. So the front side becomes more problematic than anything. That's the root. It's just more symptomatic back here because these muscles are working harder to try to keep you upright. So regardless of how much work you get on the lower back, you might find that um, the pain and the tightness comes back um, quite fast. Uh, whereas if you work on the iliopsoas uh, along with like uh, potentially doing some stretches to keep it nice and lengthened, uh, you might find that there's a longer term uh, comfort in terms of uh, what you're feeling in the lower back, whether it's pain or tightness. Okay, so that's a potential explanation for why um, your lower back is chronic and why maybe potentially you're not uh, getting the long-term benefits. For myself as a therapist, I have to say that, I know this number sounds weird, but 85 to 90 percent, I mean the point is that like most people um, have lower back pain and a lot of it's caused actually by the iliopsoas uh, and uh, the other hip flexors. You know, so they're more symptomatic in the lower back, but the cause is actually more the front side. So what I do is I actually work more on the iliopsoas than I do the lower back. Um, and usually we get better results in terms of like the, the long-term comfort the person feels. They might have had issues um, for a number of months, maybe a number of years even, uh, because it has, the, the proper structure has not been addressed. Uh, it's kind of just being like a treatment where this, they treat the symptomatic area. Anyways, uh, that's my health tip for today.
Um, I hope it helps. If you've got questions, feel free to give us a call at 416-644-8894 or email us at admin at ventepainrelief.ca. Just remember, every Monday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern, uh, we have a premiere of these little health tips for you. Uh, this is Alfie, again, with Skelly, posing here, uh, saying goodbye from Vente Pain Relief Clinic. Have a great day.